This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Table Transformer from Microsoft. So Table Transformer is a transformer based model for tasks like table detection, table structure recognition and table functional analysis on images. Okay. Uh, so Microsoft researchers have actually released a particular data set called Pub Tables 1M. Okay, uh, so basically this uh, this data set contains uh, 500k annotated document pages containing tables for table detection, almost 947k fully annotated tables including text content and complete location bounding box information for table structure recognition and functional analysis, full bounding boxes in both image and PDF coordinates for all table rows, columns and cells. Right, rendered images of all tables and pages, bounding box and text for all words appearing in each table and page image, additional cell properties are not used in the current model training. Okay, they have also released the pre-trained uh, weights for table structure recognition model trained on this particular data set. Right, so here you have these uh, table detection and ta table structure recognition uh, models and their weights. Okay. So Hugging Face uh, Transformers has this particular model in their library, okay. Uh, and uh, if you look at uh, this particular example over here, they have shown an invoice. And if I were to select this invoice image, uh, it will do this recognition, table recognition, and you get this JSON output of the bounding box of this particular table in this invoice, okay. So then I found out that there is a tutorial for uh, table transformer. Uh, this is by Niels Rock and uh, I went to this particular tutorial, okay, a demo book, notebook for this table transformer and today I will be making use of this demo notebook, okay. I will try the demo notebook as such and then what I will do is that I will uh, then actually try out with some of my images, okay. So all credits to Niels Rock uh, for this particular uh, notebook. Okay, and this is just a copy of the notebook. I would just want to try with some of my images over here. Okay, so what is Table Transformer? It is actually a DTR model by Microsoft Research. It is part of Hugging Face Transformers to perform table detection and table structure recognition on documents. So DTR is short form for Detection Transformer. It consists of a Convolutional backbone, a ResNet 50 or a ResNet 101, followed by an encoder decoder transformer as shown over here. It can be trained end to end to perform object detection. Okay. The main contribution of this is its simplicity because if you have models like Faster RCNN and Mask RCNN, they rely on things like region proposals, uh, non maximum suppression procedure, anchor generation. This is a simple model that can be trained end to end and fine tuned just like fine tuning BERT. This is possible because there is a clever loss function called bipartite matching loss function. And then there is this Yannick Kilcher's video which you can check out to understand that particular loss There's function. There's an innovator. Okay. Right. So that is the idea over here. And there is the paper link over here. There is the DTR paper, uh, the blog post as well as the official GitHub uh, repository, GitHub repository for DETR model, okay. So for first we need to install and I have selected a, a GPU runtime over here. First you need to install these libraries, okay. Um, so in the first case uh, what is done over here is that a PDF, um, you know, from a PDF you are actually loading a document image and then you are seeing how it looks like, okay. Let's run this piece of code and see so this is how the document page looks like and if you look over here this is the table okay now we have to create a DETR feature extractor okay that is what is done over here so uh, you are importing that from transformers and then you are creating a feature extractor okay and then what you do is that uh, basically it just uh, how does the pixel values looks like for this particular this thing you are passing the image and this is how it looks like okay this is the shape of this thing now uh, let us send the pixel values and pixel mask which has been generated over here right so you get from this dtr feature extractor it will resize the image to this particular size 
normalize it across channels okay using the imaginet mean and deviation and it also generates a mask for that okay now we are passing that to our table transformer for object detection model okay right uh, you are instantiating a model over here uh, basically the model is getting downloaded and the model will be created over uh, the uh, model object is created now you are doing the forward pass on the model right basically you are getting the outputs by passing the encoding which has been created the feature encoding which has been created over here okay now we can visualize the results okay so let's plot the results so here it has actually detected this table properly okay so this is the first task of table recognition okay now let us look at the second task of table structure recognition the idea of uh, structure recognition is you have to identify the several rows columns and cells in a table okay again uh, there is a demo table from a paper and from this data set that is what is shown over here so let's do that okay so this is the uh, table which is present in that particular paper again the feature extractor you are passing this image right you are now loading the model for table uh, transformer for object detection this is a structure recognition particular one model okay passing it to the for forward pass and then you can actually visualize the results so if you see over here it has detected the table columns the rows right um, so this is the table structure recognition okay so you can do these uh, tasks now how you want to try with your own images to see you know what kind of results come so what i've done is that i've downloaded some images and i've uploaded some images and it's present over here some invoices okay now let's try with one invoice image to see how it comes up so let me run this code let me comment this line okay and let's see what kind of uh, image is this so this is an invoice image like this okay if i were to do a table detection i would want uh, this particular I know up to total tax this particular thing to come as a table okay now let's see how it does over here feature extraction is happening uh, this is the shape of the features now let's uh, again instantiate the model right and uh, let's do a forward pass let's visualize our results okay so we have to rescale and then we plot it let's see what kind of table gets detected over here so you see over here it has done a very good job of the table detection over here as expected probably this is outside of the table yeah but it still recognizes this region as a table okay now maybe it needs to recognize the headers as well over here but yeah it's it has done this right uh, maybe we can try an another image to see how it comes up okay let me see what other images i have i have invoice okay um, so maybe i will try that image to see how it comes okay so this is the image over here there is some handwritten text over here i would want this whole region to come as a table let's see how it comes okay mm, i think that's not required but still okay let's instantiate the model let's do the forward pass and let's visualize okay and let's plot the results so if you see over here it's not detected this region as part of the table maybe because this handwritten content is present over here okay whereas in the previous image if you remember there was nothing over here and it was detecting this region okay so maybe we can try one more image uh, let me see what is invoice 3 okay let's try another image uh, another invoice image invoice 3 okay let's look at this image is it much different okay probably it might detect this region as a table that is my assumption over here okay let's do the feature this thing let's uh, 
instantiate the model uh, then do the forward pass then get the results as you see this model is quite fast in the inference right yeah it has done a good job again but still something which puzzles me over here is why is this header not part of the table and uh, yeah why is the table after the header ideally the header should also be part of the table right now maybe we can try this same image over here uh, and see if how does structure recognition work on this particular image uh, let's copy this content and uh, let's see what comes as uh, now let's try to modify this bottom part of the code where we have our structure recognition okay let's see okay mm, let's see yeah okay let's pass this to our Mm, feature extraction is the same thing so let's pass it over here okay mm, see any of the model was downloaded previously so that shouldn't be an issue let's do a forward pass and then let's visualize wow ah here the entire document it looks like a table over here ah, this is something different and yeah it's pulling up this invoice part as one table and then it is pulling up the bottom part as another table hmm. this is slightly different results yeah you can think of explicitly this is not a table but you can still have some table kind of structure over here right but yeah my expectation was it would do this for this particular table alone but yeah so it is done for the entire document kind of and then it is detected tables within this document hmm. a slightly different result than what i had expected but as you see this is actually table without proper boundaries right so yeah that could be the reason and whereas in the original demo you had tables with proper boundaries uh, when i'm talking about boundaries uh, it was about the lines around the table right yeah so this was about um how you can use table transformer um, the inference notebook for uh, detecting tables in documents and once you have these tables you can also send these images uh, these tables separately to OCR uh, engines and you can extract information from that and that might result in better accuracy in OCRs because sometimes OCRs may have trouble detecting the table structure but you can also do a lot of downstream processing on this uh, table data okay so this was about uh, table transformers i'll put the link of this uh, particular tutorial okay um, so uh, this particular tutorial on table transformer along with uh, some tutorials for uh, you know your detr models for say fine tuning on custom data set there are other uh, notebooks as well over here i will also put a link of this uh, github uh, page for the table transformer in the description of the video along with the hugging face table transformer uh, you know a documentation as well i hope this uh, short video on table transformers is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning